Derek Chauvin did not uh, did not murder George Floyd. Now, who's been saying that over the last, I don't know how long ago it was, <laughs> since June of uh, 2020 was when the protests were, so somewhere in that neighborhood. So for the past three-plus years, almost 43 months of 15 days flat in the curve, I've been telling you that Derek Chauvin did not murder George Floyd. As a cop myself, 25 years in law enforcement, 1992 to 2017, it was not the best handled arrest. There's definitely room for improvement in the arrest, but... Derek Chauvin did not murder George Floyd. So if Derek Chauvin did not murder George Floyd, why is he in prison for for a couple de, for a couple counts of second degree murder? Oh, well, a couple counts of murder, second degree murder, third degree murder, first degree manslaughter. Why is he in goes duplicitous charges as usual when you're dealing with Keith Ellis and the rest of the criminal justice system inside the state of Minnesota? However, he did not murder George Floyd. It's over. It didn't happen. Here is, the, here is the coroner's report. We're going to go deep into this now. If this bores you, I don't know what to tell you, but you should be very concerned about our judicial system inside the United States of America, our court system inside the United States of America. As I've outlined many times on this show, there are areas of this country that you cannot get a fair trial, and what they are doing is hauling us, hauling right-wingers into blue jurisdictions where you have absolutely no chance of a fair trial. Then you've got all the left-wing political pundits saying, oh, look, he was tried on, on, using a jury of his peers. What, what peers are there? What peers were there for Derek Chauvin? What peers are there for Donald Trump in Atlanta? What peers are there for Steve Bannon in Connecticut and Austin, Texas? What, what peers are there for uh, Steve Bannon in, uh, in D.C., in, uh, Peter Navarro in D.C., Michael Flynn in D.C.? What, what peers are there? There aren't any. That, then that's exactly what happened to Derek Chauvin here. It's all politically motivated. This is the coroner's report. This is the coroner's report or whatever you want to call it, medical examiner's reports, what we call it in the state of Florida. No life-threatening in injuries identified. Then how could he be in prison for murder? You're like, well, D George Floyd is dead. That doesn't mean Derek Chauvin killed him. In order for Derek Chauvin to be in prison for the death of George Floyd, there would have to be life-threatening injuries inflicted by Derek Chauvin. Look at the bottom. Fentanyl was the cause of death. Blood and drug, novel, uh, psychoactive substances and screens. Fentanyl was one, and then there was another fentanyl under that fentanyl. I couldn't fit it all into the screen. So in order for Derek Chauvin to have committed murder, it would have to be asphyxiation. No facial, oral, mucusal, or conjunctival, uh, I don't even know what that word is, uh, petechi, uh, petechiae. No injuries or interior muscles of neck or I don't know what the next word is, structures. So there it is. No injuries to the neck, no asphyxiation. You're like, well, there still could be, even if he didn't, if there wasn't any injuries on the neck, he still could have asphyxiated George Floyd to death, which is what most people thought that he did, right? No, no, no. George Floyd had, the, had three times the lethal amount of fentanyl in his bloodstream. You're like, Tom, you've talked about this 40 times. I know this is just coming out now. People are just catching up with this podcast now. I've already talked about this for two plus years. But if the people are just talking, well, no, it's three years. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. This happened in 2020, right, Aaron? Yeah. Yeah, so we've been talking about this for three years. <laughs> the coroner report came out right away. You're like, well, it's just because there was no injuries to the neck doesn't mean that he couldn't have asphyxiated. Well, the problem is, is that if you read the coroner's report, he had a 95% oxygenation rate in his lungs at the moment of death. 95% oxygenation rate at the moment of death, which means that's what you have right now. That means he wasn't asphyxiated. So how did Ch Derek Chauvin kill him then? There was no asphyxiation, no injuries to the neck. He didn't die of a broken neck. He didn't die of asphyxiation. Then how in the world did Derek Chauvin kill him? He didn't. Derek Chauvin had to be found guilty for political purposes so that so that Minnesota, Minneapolis, St. Paul wouldn't erupt in political tension. You don't put people in prison for 22 freaking years. By the way, the state sentencing guidelines were 11 years. He is supposed to get 11 years for what he did if he found him guilty of crimes he didn't commit. But even with that, he was supposed to get 11 years, not 22. You got 22 years because they were afraid of the political consequences of not giving him 22 years. He was found guilty because of the political consequences of, not, of finding him not guilty. You don't find people guilty because you're afraid people will riot if you don't. <laughs>